Photography is the art of stepping into the shoes of another person and looking at the world from their perspective. That means understanding the thoughts, the feelings, the experiences and values that make up their view of the world. Now, 98% of people have the ability to empathize, but few of us really reach our full empathic potential. Our brains might be wired for empathy, but we rarely bring our circuitry fully to life. So why should we bring more empathy into our lives? Well, for a start, empathy can make us good. It can expand our moral universe. But empathy is also good for you. Modern psychology research tells us that it's one of the keys to human happiness, particularly in an age when we expend far too much energy focusing on our narrow self-interest. What we do know is that empathy can improve our relationships. Just think, for example, of arguments you might have had with your partner. How often have you probably thought, oh, I wish they just understood my point of view. I wish they understood how I was feeling. Well, what are you asking for in those situations? Empathy, of course. Given that divorce rates are currently 50%, we urgently need to get better at empathic listening. That means making an effort to understand the other person's feelings and their needs, and maybe even asking them what their feelings and needs are. As every agony art will tell you, Empathy is the magic ingredient to improving the quality of our relationships because it does so much for making better communication between people. But we also need to take empathy out of our homes and onto the streets. Every day we're walking past strangers whose lives and experiences remain a mystery to us. It could be the person who sells you a newspaper each morning or someone who does the vacuuming at your office. What we need to do is discover and nurture our curiosity about strangers. And my advice is to have a conversation with a stranger at least once a week. And that means getting beyond superficial talk about the weather and talking about the things that really matter in life, whether it's family, work, politics, religion, things like that. I think that by nurturing curiosity about strangers, you can be expanding your empathy, of course, because you're looking at the world through other people's eyes, and that might even challenge stereotypes and prejudices about people. But curiosity about strangers can also create conversations which energize us, which surprise us, and in a way which can inspire us to change our priorities in life. And you might be even lucky and make a new friend. Ultimately, empathy matters because it creates human connection. Human beings are social animals, yet one in four people say that they're lonely. We need empathy to forge the human bonds that make life worth living. So let me leave you with a question. Who in your life do you need to develop more empathy with and how might you go about doing it?